is a training aircraft, primary trainer aircraft, tandem, two seat, and was developed shortly after the Second World War by Canadian aircraft manufacturer de Havilland, Canada, and it was their first post-war aviation project. So uh, pretty sure that Yak 52s never flew as spy planes either, as chipmunks did with the RAF Gatto station flight in Berlin on the traffic during the Cold War. It was aircraft with many talents for chipmunks. Yes, and some about a thousand were built in the UK. It still operates on as trainers. Well, it was only present in the Soviet Union as one of the main primary training mounts of an organization called DOSA, which was the Soviet Union's paramilitary flying training organization. It's an aircraft that's almost better known in the West than the East because after the fall of the Warsaw Pact in the early 1990s, enormous numbers of Yak 52s came onto the Western market. Why a reliable, potent, very aerobatically capable mount? And the next Prince Philip learned to fly, fly in a chipmunk, and has always, always claimed it to be one of his favourite aircraft. Well, the question is between 1978 and 1980, that's what we know I say. Came on the UK market in the 1990s, hail. 
their friend struts stressed to becoming plus seven and minus five G. It's relatively similar in some respects to the single Yak 50 design, which is also equipped with a tail wheel. Yak 50 is trying to run the carriage in standard form, also available in. Sorry, with a nose wheel under carriage in uh, standard form, also available in tail wheel configuration as part of a later upgrade. This chip will get its service in March 1950. It's now, it was restored in two years.